Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to replace the back glass on the OnePlus 10 Pro. The one I got comes with the camera lens and all that stuff attached, and I highly recommend buying it that way. So the tools you're going to need are going to be a razor blade, playing card, a plastic pick, and some heat. You'll also need some glue as well as some clamps. So the first thing we're going to do is heat up the frame, and pretty much we're just going to try and get a playing card in here. So we're going to add some heat and we're gonna use the razor blade to lift up the back just a little bit so then I can get that playing card in to cut through the rest of the adhesive. What I recommend doing is starting on the sides and the bottom and then eventually going to the top where the camera area is and then you will fold it over just like this. If it starts to get difficult to remove the back glass, just add some more heat, but obviously don't add too much heat because you don't wanna melt those cameras. So once the back glass is off, all you gotta do is just clean up the adhesive from the phone. This may or may not be difficult. Sometimes you can use your hands, other times you gotta use a razor blade, but essentially what you wanna do is you wanna get it thin, so then when you put adhesive on, it kinda sticks properly. Like I said, cleaning up is pretty difficult and it's most of the job, so take your time and make sure not to touch the cameras or anything like that so you don't get it dirty. Once everything is clean, what I recommend is setting the phone like this so then you don't accidentally scratch the screen or the screen protector, and then you want to prepare the back glass. So what I'm going to do is use the adhesive that's on here, but I'm going to add some glue around the edges like this. And then you're simply just going to set the back on the phone. Make sure everything feels nice, that it's not overlapping in certain areas. And once that feels good, all you gotta do is just add clamps on the side. I recommend adding six like this and let it sit for a couple hours. After that time is up, you can take off the clamps, clean up any of the adhesive that leaked out if there was any. But other than that, you're all set. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching.